Yeah. 
There is joy in the house of the Lord. There is joy. There is joy. There is a river flowing, a river of joy and laughter. We want to swim in the waters. We want to dance. There is a river flowing, a river of joy.
He's mine, yes, He's mine. I am who I am because the I am tells me who I am. I am who I am because the I am tells me who I am. I am who I am because the I am tells me who I am. I am who I am because the I am tells me who I am. I am who I am because the I am tells me who I am. I am who I am because the I am tells me who I am. I am who I am because the I am tells me who I am. I am who I am because the I am tells me who I am. There is a new, there is a new, new name, name written down in glory, and it's mine. Yes, it's mine. I met, I met the author of my story, yes, he, and it's mine. Oh yes, she's yes, mine. He's mine. There is a new name. Somebody ought to begin to praise the Lord just because the music stops or the song stops. He still inhabits the praises of his people. Somebody ought to shout unto the Lord in this place today. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. Come on, let an atmosphere of worship, let an atmosphere of praise come over you right now. We came for Jesus tonight. We came to glorify Jesus tonight. He's our primary goal. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Ah, my, my, my. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Well, I can promise you one thing. I'm not lost for words to say. But I do believe he deserves our high praise tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He deserves your best praise. Mm. Oh, somebody's getting a hold of it right now. You see, when you begin to praise and set the atmosphere, the manifestation follows. The miracles follow. The presence of God comes down and begins to shift things around in your life. But you've got to praise Him first. You've got to make Him welcome first. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Turn to your neighbor and say, it's just us tonight. Turn to your other neighbor and say, don't be embarrassed to worship Jesus the way that he, you know you ought to be worshiping Him. Let me, let me, let me, let me tell you, let me tell you something about Prairieville. In the crossover of the 1900s, 
there were groups, satanic groups, notable men that have sacrificed human offerings unto the devil. So some of you that are living around here, you didn't know all of that. But when the church became established, we have preeminence. We have dominion. We have authority. We have power over any spirit. Somebody ought to learn that God invested a whole lot on the inside of you when he filled you with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Uh, amen. That the, you can speak to the adversary. You can speak to demons. You can speak to strongholds. Ah, hallelujah. Brother Alvio, we're just delighted to have you here. We're delighted to have you here. And we just, we're just normal people with the, an addiction. I hope most of our addiction is for Jesus. There's probably a few that ain't. But they'll be taken care of tonight. Well, you don't act like nobody going to get the Holy Ghost around here. Yeah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Let me say that we are so delighted to have each and every one of you here in the house of the Lord. We'll be recognizing our, our ministers uh, a little later. And uh, when we sing our last song, our ushers will make sure that you have a place somewhere to sit on the platform. Not literally, but in the chair on the platform. <laughs> Amen. But it'd be all right if some of you rolled around it. Yeah, I forget, we 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 too modernized to, to roll and shout and dance unto the Lord. We're, we're, we're more accustomed of the spiritual relationship and the real kindness. Amen. We might wrinkle something. We might tear something. I got to, some of us is overloaded and overlimited on our pressure. <laughs> we wouldn't want you to rip your britches tonight shouting, but. If you did, we'll put something around you and go home and say you had a good time. And if you're from my neck of the woods, you'd say, man, shall we pass ourselves a good time? Man, yeah. Amen. Turn around, bump somebody. If, you're not, if you want a social distance, you do that, but bump somebody if you're comfortable. Amen. We're so glad to see you in the house of the Lord. Amen. I want us to go to the Lord in prayer. Tonight we've got uh, a very urgent need. Uh, sister Walburn's mother, uh, our dear sister, in very dire need of a touch of the Lord. And uh, the complications that have been presented to specialists this evening is, is very overwhelming without the help of the Holy Ghost. And uh, spent a portion of the day and uh, with... Brother Scott's family getting ready uh, for the funeral. Uh, while, I'm, while we're taking prayer requests, let me make a brief announcement. Thursday evening, the church will be open uh, for the viewing of Brother Scott. And so I know some of you come in and pray if you'll be mindful of that. And then the funeral uh, will be right here uh, the week before the funeral on Friday. And the funeral will be at 3 p.m. on Friday because of family uh, members that are out of town and could not get back in town. So with all that said, let's have church. Amen. Let's remember his family, unspoken requests all across the assembly. The Lord knows about our needs. Would you help me bring these needs to the Lord tonight? Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we worship you, Lord. We worship you. God, we need your presence to work tonight. I pray that you will move upon Sister Hancock, that the Holy Ghost, and bro, God, that the Holy Ghost will move into that hospital room. I believe you can do the surgery before the surgeons have an opportunity to do the surgery, God. Lord, I pray for the will of God to be done over this dear sister. I pray that you would touch Brother Walburn's back tonight. I pray for every hand would... Lord, that you will touch and move and minister upon those that God have been raised tonight. What's going on? I'm in and out. 
Oh, we magnify your name, Jesus. We magnify your name, Lord. Come on, somebody lift up your hands and believe it in faith right now. Believe it in faith. The Lord is going to do it. The Lord is going to work. The Lord is going to perform. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, thank you. Pray for Brazil right now. Brother Alvior is here and he, he needs the Holy Ghost to work while he's here. In the name of Jesus. Every work in Brazil that Brother Alvior's hand is on, I pray. I pray that you will dispatch angels, God, to those missions and those works. I pray, Lord, that there will be protection and that revival will continue on in his absence, God. We believe in it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Amen. Now, do me a favor. We do things a little different in Prairieville. Borrow your neighbor's wallet. Amen. Get a good offering out of your neighbor's wallet and then hand it back to them. <laughs> now, nah, I'm teasing. I'm teasing. I want to give you an opportunity to give unto the Lord. Our ushers are coming. Amen. To wait upon you. Amen. Tonight. Always a privilege to give unto the Lord. Amen. Lord, we're delighted. We are honored. Your presence that is here is magnificent and will only intensify. Our token of appreciation and our level of worship and our contribution of tithings and offerings, we ask that you would rest your hand upon the finances of every member, every guest tonight. Make a way where there seems to be no way. I pray your blessings, God, upon the using of this offering tonight. We give you glory and let the church say in Jesus' name, amen. Why don't we worship him as we give? I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Over every heart and every mind Cause I know there's peace within your presence I speak Jesus I just want to speak the name of Jesus Till every dark addiction starts to break I'm declaring there is hope and there is freedom I speak Jesus Your name is power Your name is healing Your
family, I speak the holy name of Jesus. Shout it out. Shout Jesus from the mountains. Jesus in the streets. Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Jesus for my family. Speak the holy name of Jesus. Your name is power. Your name is healing. Your name is life. Break every stronghold. Shine through the shadows. Burn Come on, don't stop. Push yourself in the Holy Ghost for just a moment. Woo! Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. There's no name like the name of Jesus. No name like the name of Jesus. Somebody ought to let the oil just flood your soul right now. 
You ought to let the Holy Ghost oil just fill you up to the rim as much as you can. Maximize your capacity. Let the glory of God fill your t tabernacle in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, just keep worshiping. While you're worshiping, Brother Travis, get Brother Chaddock a chair. Bring him a chair up here. Just keep worshiping. We do, we do things a little bit different around here. Just keep worshiping him. Just keep worshiping. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. 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 You don't just walk into a miracle. You got to prepare yourself for the miracle. You don't have a transformation without preparation of the mind, heart, and soul. Saying, God, I'm ready for the Spirit of the Lord to work. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Ikusando ye anda yo lo 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 Somebody ought to claim it tonight. Somebody ought to speak the authority of the name of Jesus tonight. Somebody ought to say, I'm fed up and enough's enough. The Holy Ghost is sufficient enough. God is able. Ah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Brother Henderson, come on up, Brother Henderson. Knock him. Somebody bring him to. There you go. Come on up. Come on up. Neighbor and pastor. Hallelujah. If they can leave Joe's bar staggering and swerving. The church has got to get to a place of desperation where Jesus is our all. He's not our spare tire. He's our everything. <laughs> Hallelujah, Brother Dardis. My good friend, come on up. Come on up. I love our ministers. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Brother Josh, I know you're in your work clothes, and I'm not going to embarrass you, but there's a place for you up here. He said, I might have to get call, called out, Pastor, before service is over. I said, just, just do the best you can. I love that man. We've got great, a great staff, a great team at my church. And uh, didn't you enjoy that fine singing and musicians? And Oh, man. If you don't have them, you just pray them through. I'm so proud of this young man. I'm going to tell you, when he plays the drums, he is spiritual, and he plays it with all of his might. What you had the Holy Ghost nine months, ten months? Get you some more of it tonight. He's close to my daughter. He needs a lot of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> oh, what do we, all of our fine ministers tonight, why don't you make them feel welcome? Oh, to all of our guests, we are delighted that you have joined us tonight. If you're in the area and you do not have church tomorrow night, Brother Eddie Tilly was missionary to Norway. He's been here several times. We'll be preaching tomorrow night in our revival service. Amen for a wonderful move of God. But tonight... We've got the notorious. We've got the, the wonderful brother Raul Alvior all the way from Brazil. Woo! What a beautiful spirit. We greet your family in the name of Jesus. You tell them they can go to my church channel on YouTube and they can see if you're doing good or not so they, 
mama can check out and say, oh, no, you can't do that. When mama's not here and you're wearing that tie, and if, if she can make sure you match. <laughs> Amen. Brother, I want you to come, and I want you to work in the Holy Ghost, and I want you to preach the Word of God to us. And if it hurts, preach to me. Preach me the Word of God. I must be saved. Amen. Don't tickle my ears. Preach the Word of God. We've got to be saved. Hallelujah. Let's just clap our hands to Jesus right now. Hallelujah. Oh, come on. Come on. Why are you clapping your hands? Lift up your voices. Let's begin to magnify Him. Amen. You may be seated in Jesus' name. Well, I feel Jesus in the house. Jesus is in this place tonight. I want to give honor to your pastor and his family. And I give honor to all the ministers of God that is in the house tonight. I want to give honor to my parents, the ones that have taught me the truth. I want to give honor to my pastor. But most of all, I give honor to Jesus tonight. Because of him, we are here tonight. Amen. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know, uh, this is my first time to be here. And this is a beautiful church. Very nice, very nice place. And, uh, but what is the most nice, it's the presence of God. And, uh, you know, I've been going to a lot of Pentecostal churches and when we come back to the States for deportation and uh, sad to say you go to a lot of churches that they are so dead and dry, you know, and you never know what to expect. But as soon as I walked in this place, I felt the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. And what it really made me happy, and I, you know, it really made me feel there's going to be miracles and signs in this service because I could tell that this is a praying church. I met a, good, a group of people in the back that they were praying and speaking in tongues. You know, there's something about when you begin to get in the Holy Ghost. When you just begin to just, hallelujah, pray in the Holy Ghost, something is going to take place. I don't know about you, but I feel that miracles are going to happen in this building tonight before this service is over. If you are a believer, would you praise him with all of your strength, with all of your might? Do it for Jesus right now. Praise God. I want to say thank you uh, for your pastor for having a special um, uh, Monday night service and uh, a missionary service. And tonight, I would like to talk a little bit about what God is doing in Brazil. Since this is my first time to be here, some of you I know for a long time, some of you I don't know. But if you open your Bibles in the book of Mark, chapter 2, hallelujah. Praise God. I bring greetings from my family, my wife, my daughter, my son. I wish they were with me this trip, but because of the coronavirus, the border has been shut down uh, for months now, and the American embassy is shut down, and Julia, my daughter's visa is expired, and we can't get it to renew, so we don't know when they're going to be able to come to the States again. Amen. So y'all pray for them. Mark chapter 2 and verse number 1 that says, And again he entered into Capernaum after some days, and it was noise that he was in the house. And it was noise that he was in the house. <laughs> 
And it was noise that he was in the house. I want to title this missionary speech, testimonies, preaching, however you feel like calling, Jesus is in the house. Hallelujah. Jesus is in the house. Would you begin to shout with your voice? Would you clap your hands? And would you pray as loud as you can pray to Jesus? Hallelujah. You may be seated in Jesus' name. You know, I was thinking when uh, your pastor was talking about devil worshiping, you know, Brazil. If you study about Brazil, Brazil is the largest Catholic country in the world. The statistics says that between 75, 80% of our population declared to be Catholics. <clears throat> but the same uh, 80% of our population that declared to be Catholics, 60% of that population declared to be devil worshipers. We are also the largest devil worshiping country in the world. If you would walk by a devil worshiping church, they have church buildings, church organizations. If you would walk by a devil worshiping church, you think they're apostolic Pentecostal because the way they worship, they shout, they scream, they clap their hands, they run the aisles, they dance, but they're not worshiping God, they're worshiping the devil. They beat the drums, they roll on the floor, uh, they kill animals, they drink blood of those animals, even that it is against the law they have human sacrifices uh, kill little babies and split those babies bodies and to pieces uh, and offer them to the devil I'm glad that we serve a God that is a powerful God tonight a God that we don't have to drink blood. A God that we don't do, have to do any kind of human sacrifice. But a God that we can call upon the, His name, Jesus. And there is something about the power of the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody shout yes. There's something about the power of the name of Jesus. A hell begins to tremble. And demons begin to fall down when the name of Jesus is mentioned. There is no devil in hell that can prevail against the power of the name of Jesus. Let me tell you, apostolics, hallelujah, Pentecostals of my church, Jesus is in the house. Jesus is in this place. And when Jesus walks in, miracles begin to happen. When Jesus walks in, revival explodes. When Jesus walks in, healings begin to take place. Hey, Katayaba, oh, clap your hands. I wish I had a tambourine right now. He Come on, the Holy Ghost is in the house. Somebody is getting ready to receive your miracle. Somebody is getting ready to receive your healing. Not because I'm here, but because Jesus is in the house. When Jesus is in the house, anything can happen. There you go. He called up a shata yada da bahaya. He caught a yada da bashanda yada da 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 bahaya. Come on, somebody can be driving down the road and the Holy Ghost can get a hold of them. Because you know why? Jesus is in the house. 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 There is no devil. There is no demon. There is no hell that can prevail against the power of Jesus. Hallelujah. I remember as we went to a little city in Brazil, and I would like to share a little bit about the work of God in Brazil. And, uh, and 
We drove five hours to get to this city called Bebedoro. Uh, a family in this church had heard about the oneness and the baptism in Jesus name through our radio program so we went there and uh, we baptized this family in Jesus name they did not have phones anything like that so a few months later uh, my mother said let's go and surprise them and have a visit with them and prayer and sing a couple songs and then we'll come back so we drove uh, uh, the, uh, they, at the time my mom and daddy had a van so we went in a van mom got a group of sisters and, and some young people and uh, we went there when we arrived in Bebedoro sister Lourdes was so excited she was so happy that we were there and uh, mom said sister Lourdes we're just gonna uh, sing some songs and have church have a little service and we've got to go back today but sister Lourdes said oh missionary you all have drove all these hours and then you're gonna drive all these hours again tonight she said oh no I, I, let's have church uh, tonight I'll cook some uh, food and then we'll eat and then we'll just have church at our house so mama said okay we'll just uh, spend the night and we'll leave in the morning because the roads was very, very bad at the time. And so uh, uh, that's what we did. We ate uh, lunch and then we stayed a little bit. And then we had church. We started having service in the living room. And there was just us that we have come from Campinas and uh, that family. And as we begin to worship God, people begin to walk in. And all of the sun, the living room was full. The kitchen got full. The bedrooms was full. And the, 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 the doors and the, the windows are, are open. They're, they don't have no air condition, anything like that. So people were standing on the outside. And we had a tremendous move of God. A three-hour service. God filled over ten people with the baptism of the Holy Ghost that night. Healings took place, miracles took place, and uh, we were shocked because uh, we, we we're all you know we were asking ourselves where do these people come from, and so after it was finished, after it was done, the service, we began to ask those people how did they knew that we were having church there, how did they knew that there was a service there, Hallelujah, and they began to tell us they said well there was two men down in the corner and they were stopping everybody that would come by and they said you want to hear something about God you go into that house He till today we know that it was no natural men but it was two angels of God that was inviting people to where the truth was being preached let me tell you the angel cannot preach because the Bible said they tremble to preach this truth but they can direct people to where the truth is preached. I mean. I'm here to tell somebody tonight at my church, Jesus is in the house. Jesus is in this place. Hallelujah. Whatever you need, God can do it for you tonight. And because of that miracle to that night, uh, we have an apostolic church.
Let's praise him. Let's praise him. He cut up all your Oh, and that's it. That's it. That's it. Jesus is walking by. Jesus is walking by. Come on. Lift up your voice and praise him a little bit louder. was in a service like this not very long ago, just a few uh, weeks ago. And we're old-fashioned Pentecost like this church. We still believe in the gifts. And the Lord spoke in prophecy and God said, Tonight, if you worship me, I will give miracles. By 8 o'clock in the morning, there's going to be visible miracles. We had a little lady in our church, Sister Adriana. She had a big tumor on top of her head, foot. It was the size of an orange. The doctor said we was going to have to have surgery. She could not uh, even put any uh, shoes. It was so uh, big. Sister Adriana was the first one that got in the aisles and began to dance before the Lord. Began to worship God because God had given a promise that he was going to to give miracles by 8 o'clock in the morning. The next morning, Adriana woke up real early. Her husband and her son, is truck, they're truck drivers. They, uh, she cooked a, a meal, breakfast for them. They left, and she cleaned the kitchen. And then she went to the uh, living room, and she went to sit down. And as she sat down, she looked at the clock, and it was exactly... 8 o'clock in the morning and then she looked at her feet the tumor was completely gone God had made that tumor disappear from that night to the next morning hallelujah well I've been a, a preacher all since I was 8 years old 38 years that I've been preaching I know that God can do a miracle I know that he can I have seen he raise the dead I have seen him heal people hallelujah all kinds of diseases I was literally dying of cancer um, 20 years ago I was diagnosed of having stomach cancer and I lost over 60 pounds and the doctor sent me home to die I was skin and bone hallelujah reverend and one night in my bedroom I was I was praying in the floor with my brothers and sisters and I had the light off and I looked and I saw a little white thing about this big just flowing like this in the air and the more that I prayed it got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and it turned into an angel the angel of God was not standing he was laying in the air and the Lord spoke to me son I have sent this angel with healing Oh, I was knocking on doors the other day in Brazil and I knocked at a door and a lady opened the door and she was Jehovah Witness and she said oh sir the days of miracles are over I said ma'am you have come too late to tell me that Jesus is not a healer I said he I know it for myself Because I was dying with cancer. And one day he walked in my living room, my bedroom, and he healed me till today. Oh, 
Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. God is healing somebody right now. Somebody's receiving a miracle right now. If you are a believer, throw your hands up in the air and shout as loud as you can shout to Jesus. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, everybody. building God has already spoken to me some of your knees tonight there are people in this place that you have come with a desire to see a miracle in your life let me tell you all that God needs is for you to believe the Bible said if we only believe anything can happen anything can happen because Jesus is already in the house Jesus is already there is a noise there is a war there is a spiritual war going on there is a spiritual battle taking place Jesus is in the house Jesus is in the house somebody shout a little bit louder Jesus is in the house Jesus is in the house it was noise that he was in the house he is at my church tonight hallelujah in Louisiana the Bible said he's the same yesterday he's the same today and he's going to be the same tomorrow Brother, I want to pray for her. Call up up her up here, brother. Brother, I need her. You, yeah, tell her to come here. God's going to give her a miracle. It's the desires of your heart, the Lord says. I don't know you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Everybody in the house, sister, I need you. In the receive it hallelujah in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus it's here the power is here the healer is here the anointing is here hallelujah hallelujah if you don't have the Holy Ghost he wants to fill you with the Holy Ghost right now if you haven't spoken tongues in your life God wants to fill you with the Holy Ghost it's here, it's here it's in the house today Hallelujah, hallelujah. Just keep worshiping, it won't bother me. I'm just gonna obey the Holy Ghost if it's okay, Pastor. He called up Oshanda Yarabakaya. 
And the Lord, when the Lord spoke that to me, the angel began to come down and come down in the air. And I lift my right hand in the air as high as I can lift it up. And the angel touched my hand. And when the angel touched my hand, I felt fire begin to burn. It went to my stomach. And immediately God healed me of that cancer. It's been over 20 years. God is still a healer. Everybody that needs a Holy Ghost. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, Children, young people, mamas, daddy, I could go on and on, but God just spoke to me. He wants to take over. If you want the Holy Ghost, run to the altar. Go get a hold of somebody that needs the Holy Ghost. Bring him with you. If you need a miracle in your body, come to the altar. You need God to work a miracle for your family, come to your, the altar. You have a lost backslidden child, a backslidden family member, and you believe that God can get a hold of them. Come to the altar. God's going to do it. God's going to do it. God's going to do it. I need all the preachers to help me. Just start laying hands. All the preachers, all the prayer warriors. He called up us Find somebody that you can pray with. And God's going to do it. Come on, we already have one speaking in tongues right here. He cut a yada by your shuttle of a ha. He la 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 Go ahead, it's all over. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, pray with her. He caught all your boys. Keep praying, keep praying. Bring somebody else to the altar. Pray with them. Everybody pray with somebody.
it's here, it's here, it's here, come on. Jesus is in the house. Pray with somebody else. Everybody pray with somebody else. Pray with somebody else.
gonna shout with the voice of triumph. Shout with the voice of praise. Why don't you shout with the voice of triumph? Yeah, shout with the voice of praise. Shout unto God for the victory. Hey, hey, give the Lord a shout of praise. Shout with the voice of triumph. Shout with the voice of praise. Shout with the voice of triumph. Hey, shout with the voice of praise. Shout unto God for the victory. Hey, 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 give the Lord a shout of praise. Triumphant in battle, we are victorious. God is most high over all the earth. Jesus has conquered. Satan's defeated, the enemy is under my feet, so I will shout. Why don't you shout with a voice of praise? Shout with a voice of triumph, hey, yeah. Shout with a voice of praise. You ought to shout unto God for the victory. We say, give the Lord a shout. Hey, let me hear you shout, shout with the voice of triumph. You ought to shout with the voice of praise. Why don't you shout, shout with, with the voice of triumph? Come on, in. shout with the voice of praise. Oh, say, yeah. shout unto God for the victory. Hey, yeah. hey, 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 give the Lord a shout of praise. We are triumphant in battle. We are victorious. God is most high over all the Satan's earth. Satan's defeated. Satan's defeated. The enemy is under my so feet. So I, I will shout with a voice of praise. Hey, hey, I will shout with a voice of praise. I will shout, shout with a voice of triumph. I will shout with a voice of praise. Hey, yeah. Shout to God. I got to praise, I, I got to praise, I got to praise, and I got to get it out, I got to praise, shout for the victory, shout even to free show, you want the shout, hey. shout for the victory, shout even to free show, Shout for the victory, shout you been set free, show. Shout for the victory, shout you been set free, show. Shout for the victory, shout you been set free, show. Something happens when I call your name. 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 Victory 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 happens when I call your name. Breakthrough 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 happens when I call your name. Oh, breakthrough. We will break through. Oh, breakthrough. I want to break through. Happens when I call your name. 
Breakthrough happens when I call your name. Breakthrough happens when I call your name. Breakthrough happens when I call your name. Miracles happen when I call your name. Miracles happen when I call your name. Miracles happen when something happens when I call your name. Something happens when I call your name. Something happens when I call. Something happens when I call your name. Something happens when I call your name. I gotta praise, I gotta praise, and I gotta get it out. I gotta praise. Well, I, I gotta praise, I gotta praise, and I gotta get it out. I gotta praise. I, I gotta praise, I gotta praise, and I gotta get it out. I gotta praise. Oh, I, I gotta praise, I gotta praise, and I gotta get it out. I gotta praise. Shout for the victory, shout you've been set free, shout. Well, shout for the victory, shout you've been set free, shout. Shout for the victory, shout you've been set free, shout. Shout for the victory, shout you've been set free, shout. A lot of Holy Ghost up in this place tonight. I don't believe I ever told our church. Maybe I shouldn't tell them. I don't believe I ever told the church the building that you're sitting in was a funeral home in New Orleans. But well, we done resurrected the dead up in here. Now, I done lost all my prayer warriors during the day. <laughs> there was no funerals. They only used it for the offices. So if you keep coming and praying. <laughs> oh, we had a good time around here tonight. Man. Holy Ghost moved fast. Praise God. And she's still speaking in tongues over there. Boy, isn't that precious? Isn't that precious? First time, Holy Ghost, we got to get a baptized in Jesus' name next. Well, you can't have one and not the other. Dawn, the Lord spoke to you, Dawn. The Lord spoke to you tonight. Get it in your crawl. Don't look back. You got a lot of things going on right now, but God brought you here in this certain season. Don't look back. God set something free in your heart tonight. He severed a cord and delivered you from something in the Holy Ghost tonight. If you will continue the straight and the narrow path, God will pull. There are family members that are on the outskirts that are tied to you that you will pull them in the house of God. Salvation depends upon your commitment to living for God. That's responsibility. And Jamie, our brand new. Oh, we're so happy for Sister Jamie. Got the Holy Ghost tonight. 
Ah, uh, hallelujah. Almost got it last Tuesday. We sealed it tonight. Amen. Her son got the Holy Ghost a few weeks ago. And God's doing some wonderful things. Anybody else get the Holy Ghost? I, I, I start with the Holy Ghost because that, that's the climax of it all. There's nothing greater. There's no greater miracle. There, there is nothing greater than the infilling of the Holy Ghost, folks. So if you can't get happy with receiving the Holy Ghost, amen, it's all downhill from here. Yay, yeah, hallelujah. Now, how many got healed tonight? In Jesus' name. I'm going to ask again because I, I, I know somebody got healed and I know the Lord done something and, and, and there's a, a lingering of faith and doubt. If the Lord healed you tonight, if the Lord confirmed, you know it was the Lord because nobody else knew it and God confirmed it. If God touched you tonight, raise your hand. Verbiage is important, the way you, you position your words. Now, I'm holding you for a moment for a particular reason. But, but let me just address, I, I want to, Brother Alviar, he, he's done. I, I, I can handle another hour, though. I'm just letting you know, if you, I know you're tired, you've been preaching a lot, but more, we like the word up in here. Woo, we like the word. Amen. And when, when, when the pastor gets a chance, man, I'm going to pull it out of whoever's preaching. I promise you that. I'm like a sponge. Amen. So some of you wonder, amen, pastor's on it tonight. He's wild and crazy. No, that's because I need some word too. Amen. That word charges me up so I can lay hands on you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands one more time. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Iku shande adorororororobo shotandai. Come on, come on. You've gone far, but God's got a little bit more. Stretch yourself tonight. Yeah, yeah. Stretch yourself in the Holy Ghost. Reach and get something divine tonight. Yeah, you know, no, 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 no,